David Smith is Senior Analyst for The Morgan Report. He is co-author, along with David Morgan. He has been following the silver market for decades. This is what he says. I'm not really particularly concerned about whether silver is above or below $20. It loves, I've long said this, it loves to break support systems and, and create panic, and it loves to fake out people on the upside. You know, and I'm just looking today now, these are 20-minute delays, and I know the U.S. markets are closed today, most of them, but I'm looking at, uh, let's see, crude is trading up $2, uh, you know, in kind of the afternoon trading. Uh, gold is up 6 silver is up 27 still below $20, as you said, but, you know, uh, these things bang around, and when they turn around, gold usually leads, and it usually doesn't put out a, a sign that says we're leading now. Uh, and I, I think jumping around when you see these little movements, which are paint chart, chart painting and micro noises uh, uh, and people, you know, the last sellers getting out, just let them do their thing and then let the market give you a better indication of what you should be doing. If this is a price that is good for you and you can get low premiums, get some more if, if it works. But don't, don't try to, some people try to, they try to finesse every micro movement of the market, and all that is is a way to go bankrupt and, and be small position with the big position you originally had because you're continually trying to contradict yourself. Your perspective going forward then for people looking to get into silver, kind of a dollar cost averaging from here, or what is, what is your take on how people should be approaching the silver market right now? Absolutely. They have... Hopefully they have some silver by now. If they don't, they're really pushing themselves out on the edge there. But dollar cost averaging is always a feature. I don't care who you are. You, you, nobody's big enough to go all in and get it right. You, you should go in thirds. If you have some, buy a thirds or buy a quarter. If you want to buy a thousand ounces of silver and there's a good price that, that Andy has, buy 500, you know, and or buy 300 and look to buy 700 more. Hope it goes lower. You're turning the psychology on its head by wanting prices to go lower. Buying all you can afford at one time is putting yourself in the bullseye between your eyes by Mr. Market's sniper. And, you know, Rick also says, you know, you don't have to be mindless about this. Just because it's cheaper, you don't automatically have to buy like Pablo's dog. You go back and you say, is my premise still valid? Is there something that I've missed? And if there is, then you change your behavior. If there isn't, you, then you see about adding more. I mean, it's common sense, but common sense is hard to, to affect when you're emotional. Now, looking into the uh, rest of the summer, your take on where we might be headed towards here if we look possibly to Labor Day? I think uh, that we uh, uh, created what turned out maybe not to be the summer low. It was the penultimate low, it looks like. So there'll be there's a lower one, I guess, right now. Sometimes the lowest one is in late August. Sometimes it's in late June. Of the two, usually it's the other way around. But this time with this, all this other stuff going on, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a reverse. And so you have an opportunity to watch a little more. You don't have to buy today. You could buy a third today. You could buy 10% today. And, and like Stu Thompson says, buy or sell less than is rational. And if you buy... If you were going to buy 500 ounces today and you buy 100 and it goes down by another dollar, you're very excited because you didn't buy that other 400 and now you can buy it if you want or you can buy another 200 and you know, make it make sense so that you're not paying a ton of commissions by buying 25 ounces at a time. But, you know, give yourself flexibility and give yourself permission to be wrong. Almost all of the biggest names are wrong over half the time, but they get it right enough of the time that the losers make up for the winners. And they get they get the structure right, and they get the, the trend right, and all the great traders are that way. So do it that way and be relaxed. Enjoy your family. Keep keep the balance. Go fishing. You know you're not going to take this with you, but try to get as much as you can to use now in a way that's rational and doesn't destroy the rest of your life. You know it's a part of your life. It's not your life, but it's an important part. Before we continue, help us clicking that YouTube like button and subscribe now to our channel. This shows the algorithm that you valued this information. And it helps us spread that message. Sharing is caring. And now, let's continue. 
we may get signals around uh, the next holiday that are, are, are misleading or are true. We won't know that until we see follow through if uh, right after, after the markets reopen in September, people come back to work, they have a different frame of mind, they're pumped about making some money for Christmas. All these things, things have gotten better or worse or stayed the same in Ukraine. I think, I think the food, I think the food uh, problem is going to start hitting us big time on a, on a kind of a hammer blow basis around the world over the next weeks and months, becoming pretty obvious by the end of this month, becoming dire into the early, the late fall and early summer. I can't imagine how Egypt's going to do with 100% of their required grains coming from Ukraine when they stop coming. All the grains that they eat come from there. There's half a dozen other you know, countries, and you can publish, I can send it to you, but there's a, um, there's a, a chart I saw a couple of days ago, the number of countries and the percentage of the grains and oils and gases and things that they get from Ukraine, Europe, Bulgaria, India, Russia, and it isn't pretty. They, you know, the the East seems to have gone off on the tangent of throwing as many things at the wall with as many sub objectives as possible to try to do all sorts of things, destroy Russia, strengthen NATO, uh, knock knock Russia out of the game financially. Uh, you know, damage the SWIFT system by doing things that terrorize people that don't follow all the Fed's rules, by making so many mistakes that you can hardly find out where they didn't make a mistake, and by, by going, doing all of this on, on the edge of what potentially is the most massive demand uh, situation for commodities in our lifetime. You know, and Goldman wrote a big report last year saying this, this is, this is going to be a never-before-seen commodities massive blowout thing where these all of these metals are in short supply and they're all critical metals and at the very apex the silver which has the potential to rise the largest percentage of all the metals it doesn't have to be first out of the box when it happens it's going to be epic when it turns if it's in the midst of the other super spikes that dave Forrest talks about it's going to be magnified this thing could leave gaps at of five ten twenty dollars we've never seen before i know that sounds crazy but don't think that you can look at the chart and find where that's going to stop. You can't. Nobody can. Just respond to it and don't sell out too soon and don't hang around for the last eight. Take a big chunk out. Figure out what's enough for you. Take it out and keep it safe, and you'll be very, very happy. And don't expect this thing to run 30 years. It may be shorter than you think. The boom will be shorter. The echo will go on. You can make money, but the big money is going to be in the booms. And the easiest money to get out is in the booms when everybody wants what you have. Rick Rule wasn't selling. He didn't wait to start selling Paladin at $9. He was feeding it to the quackers, to the ducks at 3 4 and $5. Sure, he didn't. He sold at 3 instead of 9 But do you know that he made 30,000% at $3 versus a penny? Trying to, trying to make another 60000 at 9 I'm sure Rick was real happy that he took 30,000% out rather than 90000 Or rather than he held it until it went back to a dollar. And then went to zero. I don't think Rick would have liked that. I have bad news for you. If you're not rich by now, you're screwed. And if you're in debt, you're even double screwed. How so, you might wonder. Well, the sad truth is that you're working your whole life to make someone else rich. The mega corporations, the banks, the politicians, everyone is getting richer. They get your money. And what is even worse, they get your time. They get your life. You are not even in a rat race. You're in a financial prison. But what could a solution for you look like? Honestly, I don't know. But I know what a solution for me would look like. It's very simple. I use whatever money I have and I multiplied with 1,000. This could make my life much easier and probably yours as well. If you have $1,000 available and multiply this with 1,000, I believe that this could solve some financial issue for the one or the other. Of course, if you're ugly, you would have to multiply it with much more than 1,000. My name is Marco Stan, and this is what I decided to do. I decided to 1,000x my money. This is not a joke. 
I know what you may be thinking. You know, what, what, what is this guy talking about? You know, how should this work? This is not possible. Well, I made a detailed video where I laid out my plan. And some clever folks might even want to look at this plan and copy it and do exactly what I do. This is just a little hint on the side. You have two options. You leave. You forget what you have seen. You do whatever you're doing and you hope that somehow you get some other results. Good luck with that. Or you click the link below the video. You enter your email address because I'm not showing this to everybody. You at least watch my video on how I plan to 1000x my money. The choice is yours. Make the right choice. Join me. See what a different future you could have. See at least how I intend, how I plan to do the 1000x. So click on the link below, enter your email address and I see you on the other side. Your Markus Dahn.